I had a lady reach out to me on Facebook Marketplace looking to sell her entire childhood Nintendo collection, and she's got some pretty good stuff. She's got an original Nintendo and a Super Nintendo, both with a bunch of games. I seen all three Donkey Kong Countries, I seen River City Ransom, and I even seen one really rare Nintendo game, and it's worth like $150, and that's Metal Storm. I'm super happy to go pick this up. I'm really pumped to add that game to the collection. Uh, she wants $150 for the whole box. I told her that's fine, and we're gonna go get it. So this is your stuff from when you were younger, or? Yeah. Right on. It's just been moving around with me for years, so. That's I'm what like... I like to hear. <laughs> yeah, so it's all. You mind if I check some of it out? Yeah, go ahead, sure. Cool, cool. Just want to make sure you know, some of the games that I'm interested in are in here. Spy Hunter, nice, nice. Turtles, that's a great one. Yeah, there's a couple, I think there's a few turtles in there. And I see you got the systems down there as well. Yep. There's controllers and all that good stuff. All right, looks yeah. like we're good. I got 150, I'll count it back to you here. 50, one, 150. All right, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. If you come across anything else, please let me know. Yeah, I will for sure. Thanks. Thanks. It's 150 bucks for everything. Not a bad deal. There's a metal storm in here. I don't know where I put it. Ah, uh, there it is. I think this game is like 140 or 150 bucks by itself. And that one's definitely going right in the cabinet. But I'll go over this stuff more thoroughly back at the house. I just got back home. I'm going to start laying all of this stuff out, price charting all the stuff that's worth $10 or more, and I'll show you guys what I got. So I just finished price charting most of this stuff. Um, a lot of these games are cheaper games, so they didn't get put into price charting. I only added the stuff that's valued $10 or more because the cheaper stuff isn't really worth selling on eBay individually, and I usually just end up bundling it with a console to get rid of it. But there's some pretty solid stuff here. The total price charting value comes to $720.72, and again, that's just the stuff valued $10 or more. Uh-huh. Some of the best stuff here is, where, where is it? Metal Storm. Price charting has that at $140 loose. So that's definitely going right in the collection. It's not perfect. The label has a, a really big scratch right there up at the top, but I should still turn a profit on the rest of this lot and I'll get to keep this game for free. So I try not to complain about condition when I add stuff for free. And then some of the other best stuff here. We've got a loose copy of River City Ransom worth 33. The Super Nintendo console worth 60. Uh, Super C, $24. NES console, 27. I'm probably gonna have to take this apart and re repair it. Um, usually you get the red flashing light and then you gotta change the pin connector. This one's also super dirty. It's gonna need a really good cleaning. But I'm pretty good at making those. Uh, work fixing them up getting them to work So I'm pretty confident about that And then for the Super Nintendo stuff, we've got some really good stuff there as well uh, all the Donkey Kongs 30 25 uh, 17 NBA Jam Super Mario Kart's a good one. That one's worth 30 bucks uh, Donkey Kong Country is actually one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. I remember playing this with my cousins at my uncle's house I actually never owned this growing up, but I did play through it with uh, one of my really good buddies a couple years ago before he moved away. So this game does hold a special spot to me. So there's all three Donkey Kongs there. There's uh, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario World, which I'll end up bundling with the console when I sell it. Unfortunately, no original controllers, but that's okay. I needed one of those anyway for another Super Nintendo that I have and need to list which is also super dirty and needs a wipe down and a cleaning. I'll get around to that eventually. But yeah, lots of really solid stuff. We've got like Paperboy 2, Excite Bike, Steel Cage, I know that's like a $15 game, Strider, Gunsmoke, Tetris, 
Uh, Super Mario 3 is great, one of my favorite games. Turtles Manhattan Project, which has went up in value. Price charting says this is like $40 loose. Yeah, price charting says Manhattan Project is $40 loose. So that was a nice surprise. And this one's actually cleaner than mine, so this is definitely a condition upgrade. 150 bucks turned into just over 700. I'm gonna end up keeping the metal storm, so that number is probably closer to 500 after fees and shipping. I should still turn a nice profit and get to keep metal storm for free. Anytime I get to add rare games to the collection for free, you know it's a good day. I just really quick want to test this game just to make sure that it, it works before I put it in my cabinet. So I got my NES Sharp TV here. Something's telling me that I'm going to have to clean it. Yeah, it just goes to a black screen. Normally right here would be the big Metal Storm logo and it would be at the start screen. So I'm going to go ahead and take this cartridge apart and clean it and I'll show you guys how I do that. All right, so I've tried this game like five times over there and I couldn't get it to work. And I suspect it's because of the dirty contacts on the cartridge. And I just wanna take it apart and clean it and show you guys how I do that. So I'm gonna be using this stuff called Bright Boy. It's pretty expensive. I think this bottle was like 30 or $40 on eBay, but it definitely is worth it. And then I'll be cleaning off the Bright Boy with just some IPA and Amenda bottle. Um, these NES games, they take security screws. So I have my trusty iFixit kit. And yeah, I'm just gonna take it apart, use a couple Q-tips, wipe down the contacts on the cartridge, clean them up a little bit, and then we'll try it again. So it might be pretty hard to pick this up on the GoPro, but the contacts are actually pretty dirty. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why the game won't fire up right away. So as soon as I clean these down, I'm pretty sure that the game will work. So yeah, I'm just gonna give them a quick cleaning, put it back together, and then we'll test the game again. Before we test this, I just wanna say that I'll put links to everything I use here in the description. I'll put a link to the iFixit kit, Bright Boy, and then IPA is just isopropyl alcohol, so that's unnecessary, but yeah, let's test this game. I'm hoping I can get it to work. This is one I'm really excited to add to the collection, so I'm pretty sure just a little cleaning is what's gonna do it. But yeah, let's check it out. there there we go oh yeah looks like it's working to me It's been a pretty killer week. I get to add a gem to the collection and I'm really happy I got it working. Uh, this is going straight in the cabinet and I'll get a shot of that. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing and on to the next.